Weeks we've been watching people in river towns fill sandbag after sandbag. The goal is to keep the water out of homes, buildings, and storm sewers. All those images have had Scott from Rice, Rachel from Brooklyn Park, and many more wanting to know what happens to the sandbags after the floods. Good question. Heather Brown went to a flooded lakefront park in Hudson to find out. Moorhead filled 55,000 sandbags this year. Stillwater has deployed 60,000. Hastings made 11,000, but very likely won't need them. We took the kind of wait and see approach, and fortunately, we, we came out uh, really good this year. Hudson made 4,000 for its residents. We're fairly fortunate with the city of Hudson just because of the way our elevations are. You have the ability to buy a little more time than the other cities. Correct. Mike Moraz is Hudson's public works director. There's a thousand sandbags in this bundle. A thousand? A thousand. Wow. And yep. these are polypropylene, uh, uh -huh. which is plastic. Uh -huh. And then there's other options on the market that are more biodegradable. However, the cost of those sandbags are twice, if not three times as much. They don't last as long and they're more prone to puncturing. Communities that I've worked in have always used the polypropylene. Each community handles their post-flood clean sandbags differently. Moorhead cuts them open, filters out the sand, and uses it for roads. Hastings uses biodegradable bags, which they can later use to backfill trenches or eroded areas. Hudson lets people dump their sand in a big pile afterwards, and the city can use it. You're definitely not going to put it in playgrounds again, uh, but there's certain areas where you can use it as fill and like street projects. The leftover empty bags often go to landfills. You can't just untie them. No, you're better off just taking a utility knife. You know, you got double knots, triple knots. Imagine doing it to 2,000 sandbags. Yeah, or 60,000. Or 60,000 sandbags. But if the bags come into contact with dirty water, that's a different story. Minnesota and Wisconsin guidelines say those full bags should go to a special landfill. Depending upon what contaminants are in the water will dictate where the sand base can be disposed. Is it an inconvenience? Yes, but in Hudson, living on a river, it's kind of par for the course. Four news.